Let's talk about how to store our fruits and vegetables so that they last longer and we don't have to keep wasting because I mean in these economic times who needs to waste? So that's what we're talking about today and I'm so happy that you're here. Let's start with onions and their cousin, the garlic. Now these do very well in a cool and dark place. So please do not put them on your kitchen counter. You need to find a cool and dark place and put them there, all right? And they're going to last long. They don't do well in the fridge because of the moisture. However, if you do cut your onion, put it in a container and put it in your fridge. It's going to last for up to about seven days in the fridge once it is sliced. But before then, Put it, put it in a cool dark place and you're good to go. Let's talk about tomatoes because we all love tomatoes but they tend to get too ripe too fast for some of us. Now the thing to do with tomatoes is if they are ripe put, the, put them in your fridge and what I have learned is that you need to make sure this part where the stem was is covered because this is where moisture gets in and makes them uh, get overripe. Now we should also put them in one layer, not on top of one another. And lastly, what we are to do is to line this tray with paper towels to absorb the extra moisture. So that's what I want to do. Just put paper towels. And then put your tomato with the stem side down and then put them in the fridge As you can see this one is already going bad so we'll start with that one and that's for soup the ones that seem to already be going bad should go in the front because those are the ones we'll start with all right now if your tomatoes are not right kind of like these ones which are straight from my garden uh these ones can stay on the counter however we should also make sure that we put them on a paper towel and the minute they get ripe, they go into the fridge. So just like that, okay? That's how to store your tomatoes. Some people say you can also put them together with lemons that they will keep fresh faster. Um, I haven't seen evidence to that, but if it works for you, that's amazing. And that's especially if you don't have a fridge. I would recommend just trying that and seeing how it's going to work. It's mango season, but the season is coming to an end. So if you want to keep your mangoes for a bit longer, even after the season has ended, here's what to do. Once your mangoes get ripe, put them in the fridge and they will last a bit longer. Or if you want to slow down the ripening process, put them in your fridge. Also, you can peel them. If you don't have enough space in your fridge for whole mangoes, you can peel them and chop them up and put them in an airtight container and they will last for several days in your fridge. Now, if they're not peeled, they will last for just a few days, like two, three, four days in your in your fridge, especially if, you're already, if they're already ripe. However, you can also chop them and cube them and put them in your freezer. And this would be amazing for if you want to make like smoothies, like lately we're really into smoothies, or if you want to juice them, you can freeze them and then you can juice them straight from the freezer once they are peeled and cubed. So yeah, that's all with mangoes. Oh, what I forgot to add for the mangoes is that once they are cubed and in the freezer, they can last up to several months. So before the mango season is over, dash over to the market and get your own and stock them in your freezer to enjoy mangoes for months and months to come. Let's now go to ginger. If you're tired of your ginger shriveling up on your counter like I am, here's what to do with it. Just clean it up nicely, let it dry, and then you want to put it in a plastic bag. Make sure it's airtight and then put it in your, in your fridge. Now, if you don't have a fridge, you can still put it in a plastic bag and keep it like that on your counter and it's going to last a bit long. Also, the thing is to make sure that your bag is completely airtight. So I would do just roll it up and then make a knot. If you have a Ziploc bag, that would be even better. And then just make a knot and you're good to go. Another way, of course, to preserve your ginger is to blend it together with garlic to make garlic ginger paste and then freeze this in ice cubes and then freeze the cubes. And whenever you want to use it, just pop one cube from the freezer and boom, you're good to go. Let's talk coriander. I mean, is there anything better to add to your food than coriander? Now, if you've seen any of my grocery haul videos, you know that I like to buy a huge bunch of them like this. Now, one way to preserve them is to put them in a container with water, fresh water. Make sure the roots are submerged in the water and then cover them with a plastic bag just like this. Just cover them loosely to make sure they're not losing moisture and then put them in your fridge. This way they will last 
for several days okay so that's how you go about it now another way to do it which is actually my preferred method is to chop them up and then put them in a container and freeze them now these are straight from my freezer as you can see they might be a bit dark in color but the flavor is still there when we want to use them we just get a spoon we, we just grab a few tablespoons and mix them with our food and they taste as good as fresh so you have these two methods to store your coriander pick whichever works for you now let's talk about everyone's favorite fruit which is the apple well at least in my house it's everyone's favorite now you know how expensive apples are and the last thing you want the last thing you want is for them to start going bad so the best way to do it is to put them in your fridge in a paper bag like this just put them in there and then we are going to make holes in it because they need to breathe okay please do not ask me where i got this paper bag because i will be incriminating myself <laughs> ah, however we do recycle them okay they are good to the environment so we we'll tear them up like this and then we we'll poke some holes please do not leave your apples on the counter otherwise they won't last they won't last long okay Like that and then this is how we put them in the crisper of our fridge let's talk oranges please do not leave your oranges on the counter if you have a fridge otherwise they will not last long if you don't have a fridge that's okay you can put them in a plastic bag perforate it and leave it on your counter now if you're putting them on the fridge the treatment is the same you will get a plastic bag uh, put them inside and then perforate it and then we'll put them at the crisper of our fridge which is the bottom part where we normally put the vegetables okay so they go in together make it tight and then we'll poke some holes in it and they will last for up to a month in your fridge okay just like that now this is my favorite fruit of all times and I love avocado and is there anything worse than all your avocados getting ripened at the same time and then you cannot eat them fast enough and then they all go bad oh my gosh it is heartbreaking so now what to do is if you have a large batch of avocados you can separate them put some in the fridge to slow down the, the ripening process and then put some on your counter now once the ones that are the ones on the counter get ripe you can put them in the fridge to slow down the ripening process and consume them within two to three days and you're good to go if you have half an avocado put it in an airtight container and then cut up a piece of onion put it inside there cover it and put it in the fridge and this will give you a few more days of freshness of your cut avocado and please enjoy the avocados you guys the nature's best fruit ever let me know in the comment section below if you love avocados as much as i do now you guys know when i buy carrots i like to cook them once all of them at once and when you're doing a batch cooking video if you're interested you can check it out i'll link it here but lately we're really into smoothies and salads so i like to have a bit of them fresh just at hand that we can use for that purpose now i hate it when the carrots start wilting and they become just you know just a mess but by the one thing i learned from my mom recently is that if your carrot has completely wilted just dip it in cold water and leave it for about 30 minutes and it's going to be as good as new the same with potatoes anyway back to the carrots so now one way to store your carrots is to put them in a plastic bag put them in your fridge and they will last long but do not wash them fast before you put them in the fridge because washing and all that wetness and then you remove them from the water will cause them to grow mold that's one way another way is you can cut them up peel them blanch them and put them in your freezer and they will keep good and they will keep their color once they've been blanched now the best way and one that i want to try because i've never done this before but i think it's going to work really really well is to put your carrots in water and then put them in your fridge this way they are going to last up to several weeks the key thing is to just change the water every four to five days as my research revealed and they will keep fresh for weeks so that's what i want to do because i think this is the easiest way
change the water every four to five days or if you see the water starting to get cloudy that's when you will change the water um i'd be curious to find out if this method works also if you don't have a fridge like on the kitchen counter i suspect that it would work as well um if you try it please let me know because i think it's a really good idea Cucumbers are everyone's favorite vegetable, at least mine. I keep saying everyone's as if I know what everyone wants. Now to store them, one of the best ways is to get a Ziploc bag and then line it with paper towels and then put in your cucumbers. peppers okay red green and yellow these will go very well in a plastic bag Now I'll talk about a few things that are not fruits and veggies but which are really key to know how to store well and let's start with bread okay we do our shopping once a week from the supermarket and we buy bread when we're not making our own if you'd like to learn how to make your own bread there's a video and it's really amazing okay but if we do buy bread or even if we, or even if we make our own bread this is what to do Put it in your freezer, all right? It's going to keep very well in your freezer. It's going to keep fresh. And once you're ready to take it, just remove it about 30 minutes before you eat it and it's good as new. So that's a fantastic hack that I've learned recently. And you guys, it is changing lives over here, all right? The other thing that we like to store in the freezer is our milk. Now, if you watched our video on 30 things we no longer buy, then you know that we do not buy packet milk. We prefer to buy milk from the milk ATM and just boil it. And someone DM'd me recently asking me how I store my milk once I boil it. So this is what we do. We have plenty of yogurt bottles because once upon a time we used to buy a lot of yogurt before we learned how to make our own. So we kept the bottles and these are one liter bottles. So what we do is once we boil our milk, we fill in the one liter bottles of course leaving enough space for for what for expansion once it freezes and then we freeze them and when you're ready every evening we will remove just two let it throw out on the sink as we go to bed in the morning it's fresh and ready for our breakfast okay another thing i'd like to talk about is chapati dough you can actually make your chapati dough in advance and then put it in your freezer and then when you're ready to cook just remove it like an hour before let it thaw and then you cook it it will be good as new this applies also to mandazis mahamris all that and i think it's so nice to have that in your freezer because if you receive impromptu guests in a few minutes you will have amazing mandazis and chapatis for them and that is awesome
hi guys so it is two weeks later and i want to show you how some of the products the vegetables not products <laughs> survived so far uh the ones that are remaining okay uh we really enjoyed the mangoes oh this is a melon i didn't show you how to store a melon once you cut it just wrap it in clean film and store it like that it stores very well the mangoes are still going strong they're ripe but they're still going strong and then uh the tomatoes imagine you guys these are the exact same tomatoes that we put that day two weeks ago and they've ripened but they are just as good putting them down with this side facing uh the downside is just it's the key guys i'm really happy about those tomatoes the other thing that I'm really happy with is the carrots because they have also stored very, very well. Actually, just yesterday, oh, my fridge is complaining. Just yesterday, I was asking my help whether she changed the water because you're supposed to change the water every three to four days. She hasn't, you guys, she forgot. But the tomatoes are just as good. Uh, but these tomatoes, my goodness, the carrots are still just as good as on that day of course we did change the water now but they have survived they look as good as new keeping them dipped in water you guys is the way all right my fridge is about to start talking uh the what the cucumbers have also really stored very well as in like guys two weeks later they look good as new all right we have used some but then others uh, we have two remaining and those are going very well let me show you down at the crisper what is remaining there so i had to close the fridge for a few seconds because it was really complaining if you haven't watched the video of how we bought the new fridge and, and just how it is and link it here we have a new fridge that if you leave open for too long uh, it, like, it literally starts calling your name so now here i have the ginger remember i put it in plastic bags although i did come and add some and uh, and and <laughs> i added some what do you call them lemons inside but the ginger if i could open the bag the ginger is still going nice and strong still firm and still nice and strong so that's awesome and of the oranges and the apples all we have left is this one orange and the other lemons the orange still going nice and strong remember it's two weeks later you guys i have not used my peppers yet there goes my smart fridge it is too smart uh -huh. so the peppers i'm here to make a salad then you guys two weeks please keep in mind this is two weeks later still firm Although they've started going a bit now unfarm, the opposite of farm is unfarm. So I need to get to them. But yes, that is exactly how they have stored and they have survived. So I hope these tips will be helpful to you guys. So there you have it guys i hope you have found this useful and helpful let me know which one of these is new to you and also which one you have been using if i got anything wrong please correct me in the comment section below you guys you know how we love to help each other and to learn from one another also watch that grocery haul video to see how much i spend on all these groceries and also the batch cooking videos to see how i use them for cooking and i'll see you over there thank you for hanging out with me and bye